Troje. Which YouTube. And yeah. The newest TR2 Tash. Whoops. <laughs> uh yeah, it should be fine. It is very loud. Very, very loud. Holy. Also, now we can. Now we start. Is it too low now? Just tell me. But yeah, this is all secrets. Glitched on PAL. And it has some wild shit on it. That's an interesting stuff. I have not seen that jump before. Player wall back here. Blah blah blah. You know that. You know the drill. Now he draws the flare on a perfect place. Yeah. That is like, one of my favorite ones in tasks because you can you just get these like trick shots. So now the flare is the right spot instantly. He clips up. No. So the difference between PC and PS1 is um, on PS1, PAL version has an exclusive flare glitch you are seeing to be used on this one, which is not possible on any other version. But even if you're doing speedrun on PS1 version on PAL, you cannot, you can do these, but like the throw he did, you're not gonna be able to do that. That's too precise. But yeah, PC and PS1 are a bit different because the flare glitches on PAL version. Is the running in bed? Yeah. Nice. Classic. So you will see a lot of YOLO stuff. Which is... They are crazy. That is done in RT runs. I wanna see what the ammo route is for this. But you can probably just skip most enemies because of the task, so... Might see just pistol using the most. Yeah, that's true. If you wanna see RTA, like, what's humanly possible, I have the world record for this category, uh, on any percents, uh, on PS1. I just, maybe a month or two ago, I uploaded it on YouTube. It's 55, 59, or something like that. Real time. So this dive, you would never YOLO like this, because it's so precise. But the way you survive from this drop is you hit the ground and the wall at the same time. And that cancels the fall damage. Only on Swan Dive. Uh -huh. It is, yeah, but we do the Swan Dive on full game runs, but with the setup. It's crazy, actually. Oh, no, Ember in. That's like at the deck strat. And they're co op. Uh -huh. That's the Great Wall. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you need to set flares because PS1.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. But basically your style. The difference is like... I, I can't remember. I think Troya told... Yeah. But it was like so minimal. But still. That is hard jump. It's basically blind timing completely. When you get on the window. Oh, he, you're gonna see some wild shit on this level as well. Actually, I just realized. You will see some crazy shit now coming up after the secret. By the way, try this sequence. It is really hard. You get this part with because the water like gets deeper here on the middle. I'm never going back past this area without stopping at least for a second. And he just got that perfectly. It is really, really hard. Now comes the underwater corpse where your movement speed is crazy fast. I'm pretty sure he's doing it. Yeah. Basically, you don't even have to press anything. She just goes forward, but you can hold swim to go faster. Is it clipping up or something? I oh, know, yeah. It's kind of smart, actually. Very clever way of getting up. Also, was it on PC or PS1 where the rewards are bugged? No, it's not RTA viable at all. I, I can't remember if it's on PS1 or PC, but... Venice and Bartoli rewards for secrets are uh, mixed up. Um, I'm gonna show you the the quapping part, why it's not viable. You can try this without doing the quap. Try to get past this little part, swimming through, just by swimming normally, without surfacing. It is really fucking difficult. And when you have like this unpredictable co-op speed, it's just even worse. <laughs> nice. I think he used the boat as a boost forward. Yes. When he's moving really, really fast, that's a co-op. It doesn't look like the normal co-op we do on the ground, but it's a similar thing. No, the co-op isn't itself too hard to get. Basically same thing than we do on here. In full runs as well. Also, you will see this threat. Yeah, it instant trigger. That's RNG how fast you get it, so you just have to repeat that million times on task to get it instantly. Spanish, easy peasy, good corner cutting there, oh my god I just want to see this again, look at this, he throws a flare, uh, throws a flare, throws there, crashes the boat, swims around, and the flare is perfectly on the right spot. <laughs> And doing the f forward clip up is really precise. We do it backwards on full game runs on uh, by like by humans. It's pretty nice. There's an enemy on this balcony normally, but we don't even trigger it because we don't go to that tile with this route at all. Now he's gonna do, yep. So what do you see here? This 
tile here, this window, if you jump through this corner, you skip the enemies for the next room, which has two club guys and one dog. So he does a running jump while breaking the window. You jump through the corner. Skip them. <laughs> and the only reason he's coming here is the gold secret. It's the only... What? How is this jump done? I am not... I don't know. Normally when you do a running jump on this platform down, you stumble. Is it that you don't touch the ceiling? Somehow? You hit the wall and you get the right angle that it kind of like keeps Lara's height controlled or what? That is wild or is it a tunnel jump yeah could be that one too i've never seen that before nice get up there convenient running corner bug roll nice i do that in our tier runs as well god i'm task level runner I do one trick. Wow. Gamer. Baby. And then the gold secret. You see how he is like avoiding turning? You can. I do that in like runs as well. You can aim at the corners and avoid the little right turn by yourself. Because like it loses very minor, like very little time to go right and then forward. Rather than just go straight and let the corner push you right. Wow. It's one of those very minor, 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 minor things. Yo Johnny, I'm good. Hope you're too. But you can see that in a lot of places. Even in like crits and my runs, they it's been used. And in some other as well. Please come again. Hello everyone, smile. Yo game pros, thank you for 28 months. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. Hope you're doing good. Okay. Now yo ATK, how's it going? Now he does the roll corner back, I think. Yeah, he. So this strat is hard, but this plant or the pot makes it even harder. And you have to trigger the door first to open. He triggers the door, gets on a really bad spot, but enemy goes on the left side and pushes him to the right. Oh. Easy. I've never seen this one. Running. Oh, it must be really precise because you're going through this block like halfway. <laughs> and then he just get the GG at the end. Sick, man. And the canceling the stumble is really difficult uh -huh. as well. He's doing your prep cancel. Nice. Easy. What? Oh, I can't, not even, can't even see the stat screen. It's too fast. Too fast, too fast. Okay. Normal start, GG up. Running jumps. Hey, Ryan. Thank you. Hope you're doing good. You will see a very, very cool strat now. It's a co-op. It's not part. Pa I mean, it's, it's possible by humans. But it's so crazy. But look at this. He's doing it. So this is always 8 seconds. This co-op. 
So he has to time it properly. So he gets down. If you go too early, you die too. If you uh, late, you die. Now he's in the uh, normal place. So good, man. Uh -huh. Oh my god, that is hard. Can you see? You're over the edge. You're on the over the edge and then perfectly jumping. Like, if you go on a too early grab, you will collide with this thing and just push it to the left. Nice. Hey, no see. This is so good. Holy. Oh, just a casual fall damage cancel there with Swan Dive. Something I do every day. If he's doing a backflip twist. Oh, no, he's not. Yeah. I was wondering like if he if he found a way to do a backflip twist, you die there. <laughs> Normally. Hey Peter. Yeah, I, I've been asking that same question as well. Why, man? It's why. Normally, this corner here is a sticky one. We can go against it, hold up key and embed slightly into it and then clip up. He just does like the most unreasonable corner back here. He perfectly lands the corner and then backflips into the into uh, upstairs. Nice. <laughs> really, what's the secret? Because you usually die from it. That's why you will not see us uh, runners do that at all. Usually, this. Oh, he's doing embed. That's sick. He just like throws the. What the fuck is happening here? He throws the flare, throws the guns. Gets the AI confused by shooting him. Kills the dog. Um. Yeah, I, I've never been able to do that. But that's why I always hop back. Even the task does it. I don't know if he timed it. This secret is, by the way. The wildest shit you will it's not, maybe not even see anything because it's like black screen. But it's a flicker into a roll eject to get up. And then I hope he uses glitched flare to see something. But he will use this corner here coming back. Clip all the way back up. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's going back. And doing the, this threat on a, this sh uh, deep water is really hard. Like, so he's doing up inputs into the embed, like twice tap up like that, then jumps into a flicker. Perfectly. And then gets to the end. Right there. So much faster than... Easy route. I would say if the 10 is like... Possible. It's like 2 or 1. I mean it's doable but not consistent enough. To, uh, because you need to get the perfect uh, angle and you can't see shit.
Yeah, I'm sure you do, Ryan. Well, that's Oprah House, 351. All secrets. And no, now oil, oil rig. I think it's yeah section. So it's all the rig. Yeah, just that's just flat. Also, you can do that on PC as well, but you cannot get out. So he threw a flare while not watching because of the swag, I suppose. And then that's the only way to get up or get out if you don't move the block. I'm trying to think if this level has some crazy shit, but we'll see. He's gonna do the the clamp glitch here. Just nice. If you're on the right angle, on the right spot there, back flipping. I think it's back flipping out. Yeah, I think it's back flip. You clip up. And he's gonna do a wall, a flare glitch soon. After the secret to get the stone, it was you. It was used. I wanna say four years ago or something. But here's the quote. We don't need to go there anymore in any percent. But there, it was used in any percent, and it was really difficult. For some reason that wall was like very. Not so friendly with flare wall bugs. I think we use two flares maybe to set it up. He's gonna use one because it's just. He was even dead when he. Nice, that's crazy. The flare was dead. He still crapped, crapped it, and then that's doable. Used in glitchless. <clears throat> Just a normal. Yeah, they are tier two tasks. Hey, Santa Claus. It's with secrets as well. It's the newest one. Submitted to task videos uh, today, actually, or today or last night. Now he's gonna get a co-op hold. Classic. Get a co-op. He slows it down. Oh my god, that's kinda cool. <laughs> so you did, he could he does a co-op here. If you let go of up at the right time, yours when you start the co-op, it's slower than normal speed. Because then you can get the faster clip through the door. I don't know why, but even it's it's the same in TR1. And then he just, because it takes 8 seconds to him to clip out or something like that. He just does some YOLO swag shit here and just ends it because why not. It's so unreal. Yeah. Try that RTA that the shotgun guy misses like three or four times. Not happening. Honestly, the reason you would run this category is you don't need the stupid item clips. How unreasonable is this jump? It looks stupid though. It does look stupid. Yeah, you, he lands right on the corner, like, perfectly. Uh -huh. Now he not- I bet he's on the right angle, yeah. Knew it. Right angle instantly for running embed. Nice. And on our tier run, like, by humans, like, we- if we do a run, we- we would take the, um... 
a key card and just use it. I think even on PS1 we would use it. Well, PS1 is a bit different. This one is easy thing to actually do. This might be faster because it's on a ta task. Well, it, it is. You know how we normally we go like under on the floor, just like dive down. He does like completely flat leveled against the ceiling. Probably same speed or faster. But those are something I usually pick up from this kind of runs. Oh yeah. Because why not? <laughs> That's a nice pose. Her knees or legs are a bit longer. Oh, who's this? Interesting. Double pickup. 100%. Yep. Come. That jump is not hard. There's a, like a little darker, bl dark blue spot on the ground I use. This jump. Stupid. Do not even try it. This one is cool. Shimmy embed. Uh -huh. That jump is... You have to land perfectly near the edge and you have to jump perfectly early enough because the the ground where the blue key card is like this and if you jump on the edge it's higher which gives you more uh, height to fall down and that kind of, that screws up yeah he'd slowed the cop down again here he's not going full speed it's slightly faster it is hard to get the exactly the, the right speed, so that's why we do the full speed every time. It's way easier, consistent. <laughs> this is a completely different route than I'm used to. This is really faster? Yes, so? I am actually surprised that this is faster. What we normally would do is, I'm gonna go a little bit back. After we quap down here, we would go left, trigger the flamethrower guy and the keycard guy, or like the circuit breaker guy, or circuit board guy, kill, kill both of them, on task you can avoid the flamethrower guy, pick that circuit board, go to the intended route, pull the block, use the circuit board, and then you get to this area. I hit it the second quap. Oh, I don't know, man. It's probably only faster if you do the YOLO quaps. Oh, nice. That's a sick threat. Another flare wall bug.
so many different ones. I have no preference. You should spill a bit of a ball. I kinda know what's happening, so it's pretty nice. What do you want? Come on, stick to your stomach. Tell me. Okay, Barco. Hey, Mac. So you must kill these guys in order to end the level. We would kill the guys and then take the secret. So that's so you might see the offshore rig here. That this is a feature on PS PC as well. If you skip stat screen on a previous level too fast, like in on the same frame it uh, appears. The level name uh, stays the same on the next one you open, but these stats are correct for the level you just played. So even if he did diving area, it's just offshore rig, but these stats all here are exactly accurate for the diving area. Just the name is weird. It's a very common, I guess, bug. Is this... Um... 40 fathoms and wreck. Nice. This level is close to RTA 80%, so. There's some few wild shit, but that's that's expected. For example, no air. Um uh, Usually we take air, just a bit. We surface and instantly dive, it gives us enough air if you do the dive perfectly. Do not lose health, but on t in TAS, you can do this almost without losing a any air. Also, this trap here. This is used in any percent. Crit goes for this sometimes. I refuse to go, because when I practiced, if you're too up here, when you try to go... Somehow this collision pushes you down. If it's you, if you're any too high, like any just a bit, it it bunks you here, and you lose like five to ten depending on outcome. Saves like few frames, or like point two seconds. It's so stupid. But yeah, he only lost like ten percent health, and if uh, we did that, we would lose like forty percent, forty to fifty depending how it goes. Nice. This is stupid. You can try this. If you pull this lever and backflip twist, you cannot do the uh, jump twist. Um, the forward jump. You will hit the beam, but you see how he makes Lara be angled. If you hold left or right, like directional key when you're doing interactions, like lever, key, holes, um switches buttons anything or even pulling and pushing block you will see it later you can make lara angled even though it's supposed to and that's how he can mani manipulate the distance he's doing a backward twist he actually travels shorter amount here now so he has the room to do the standing jump up or forward <clears throat> that is not are easy you can void there when you land on top of that beam like it sends you to sends you the moon and you cannot come back from it it's a really rare outcome but i wouldn't recommend doing it usually you just bonk lose time but sometimes you can land on the middle of it and just you just go somewhere you're not supposed to be in Okay, so even Tass take this round. Should we usually... Well, I usually take the middle one. It just feels more correct, but yeah. Okay, that's a no fire strat. Not doable for humans. Just because... You lose more time by trying it than actually gaining from not using a med. 
on PC, we can just use a med key, hot key for it. Well, med pack hot key. On PS1, you would need to use the. Um, you would need to use the uh, actual inventory, so it's quite a bit slower there. Oh, easy peasy. Standard stuff here. That looks harder than it actually is. It is hard, but we did that in a new percent for PC. Simple stuff. Good, le good little history lesson. There's a YouTuber called Brotherhood of Gaming. They did the TR2 speedruns. They did 1, 2, and 3 at least. And they tried to pass it as a world record. And they, they used emulator. And they used that commentary on top of the gameplay. But they they tried to claim it as a record. But they did this, they did this kind of shit. Where they YOLO this perfect dive, for example. Which is not, it's just not doable, man. Consistent basis. They did so many unbelievable strats. And I think Riku, who's in the chat, pointed it out. And it was never accepted, but... It was years since they, uh... They, I don't know if they ever tried to even claim or say that... Or admit that it was... It, it was, they just went for the angle of... It was entertainment purposes because they are quite big YouTubers, so you can obviously just say anything, and the actual speed on us gets always just shit on anyway. And then they went around chats to uh, say how uh, some speedrunners were trying to cause drama with it or something like that. It's like we never even tried to be the record of when it, whatever it was. Like, come on, man. I wish there was the side still alive. I tried to go this, uh, the, the internet archive. <laughs> it's so good, Riku. It's every time I see uh, the, the weirdest shit on this game. It reminds me. This is hard. Uh -huh. <clears throat> this is hard, the stuff. We tried to do this on PC, but it just didn't work out. It's too difficult. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's just. I just found it like they they always just played the angle the wrong angle with it, and because it was a big YouTuber, it, like. I think Crit commented something about it. Instantly downloaded to fucking hell. Because how how would he know anything? <laughs> yeah, it was just uh years ago. Five? I would say six. Maybe even seven. Visual emulator bugs and they're like, yep, yeah, real yeah. <laughs> Okay, this is the block simulator. Same stuff we would do on PC as well. Just to get the one secret. And then he comes back the same way here. And get some. Here he pushes one, pulls one block, and then go next to the wall. He can embed because there's an empty space. 
and then turns and whoop. Nice. That's we use that as well. It's so close. Nice tunnel jump. Tunnel jump is when the ceiling. I don't exactly know how high the ceiling can be. Well, let's say it's like this, one full block, and if you jump from here, certain distance away from the wall, towards the wall without bonking, and hold left, you can get a jump where she hugs the ceiling way longer, You so you travel further than you're supposed to. And we can use that in Tomb Raider 3, for example. You can go over the gaps you're not supposed to. If someone reminds me, I can show you after this run what gap I'm. You're not definitely supposed to go over. Hey, Steve. Pool assisted speedrun. So it's. A player does a speedrun. Yeah, showing a tunnel jump in Tomb Raider 3. Um, it's a tool assisted speedrun where. Runner or player uses a tool like emulator to do to create a perfect um, perfect gameplay, something humans cannot replicate, or as perfect as they can. Yeah, I see. That's the perfect uh -huh. example. I could use the Aldwich water gap as well. Uh. Also, this is a nice time save for PC. So, uh -huh. normally we would be on, ang like here, angle a little bit, and then roll and jump up. But, I'm sure he has timed it. You can hold up left just right away. Hold up first and then left. Action, and you can climb up here. Interesting. So you can do the roll there. Nice. That's something you can do on, like, non-task speedrun. Super simple. Even if it saves two frames, half a second, it's still free. Requires zero skill. The other strat is even harder than that, so... Why not? This is hard as fuck. What he does is... He goes into this. Like... Now, he is perfectly on, like, pixel perfect between the wall and the tunnel. And then he's more under the tunnel, I think. Just a bit. And then he clips up. You could use flare, but that's a slightly faster. If why not? He's not looking sideways, like uh, like a blebs. I look sideways to make sure that I jump at the right time. Also here, cool thing. I usually grab instantly. Which makes me go deeper when I hit the water because I actually go against the wall, which pushes me down. He waits. And then presses action. So there's a gap between the wall. So when he hits the water, the momentum goes forward just after this edge. When I would hit the edge and go a little deeper. Just a tiny bit, but... Small, small things. Something we could improve. In all categories, actually. Minor things we don't really think about here, actually. Now he does a co-op. What the fuck? I've never seen this co-op. That is insane. I know that little gap and the thing, it acts as a ceiling, but that is crazy. That is crazy.
PS1, you do the co-op, but I know with the setup because it's too precise. You just go like that. Okay, another one of these like cool embeds, right? Nope. You just you need the embed and then climb up because you get faster if you climb up animation by doing that. Usually when you normally surface, you're always a bit off the wall or the edge. But by getting that embed, you get to the instantly next to the wall. Slightly faster climb up, but very minor. And if you go for that in full game runs normally, I usually try to go for it in this one because it's kind of easy. If you fuck up, you just start swimming around against the ceiling and just lose like 5 seconds for no reason. Like just the dumbest timeless you can ever get, basically. This, I'm, I'm never sold on this one, that this is faster route. So we always go straight here. Like that way, and then go around the corner. Then he takes this one. Cabin key. Just the casual running jump. We do that with the walk and jump because it's way easier. You don't need to worry about the angle really, or the distance. That's it. yeah. But yeah, Tibet's gonna be crazy, so it's coming soon. Tibet is probably the craziest level in this run. <clears throat> Actually, Xi'an is crazy. Xi'an is probably the craziest one. But Skido is the, probably the most flashy. Again, 40 fathoms that screen. <laughs> yeah, I'll try to point. I mean, I'm like, it's more likely, uh, I want to point out because I have a personal gain as well. I want to remember it for the next time I do TR2 as well. But you can usually apply these things to every, that is stupid. Uh -huh. Um, you can apply these things to every, um. Uh... Every Tomb Raider, really. Okay. So, this is stupid. But, you notice how he is away from the wall? Like that. There's a big get back gap. So, let's say there's like... 10 pixels is the window. And 11th one you can't grab. He's grabbing it on 10th pixel. Because somehow the interaction box is a bit outside. And normally, we... Pull the lever one against the wall, step back, and then backflip. But because he's already so far away from the wall, he can backflip instantly. And land on that thing. But if you don't be perfectly backward, like, away from the wall, you die there. That's why he's not side uh, backstepping, if you wonder that. And everyone else, like, human does. Just because it is too precise. Replicate. There's one instance me and Crit replicate. At least me and Crit replicate that and strat and it's in Tibet. Because it's not deadly. You just save a little bit of time and it's pretty consistent. It's after the ladder bug. And it's way more lenient, like way more lenient with the distance. Notice here as well, he turns left. You can turn left or right, but left is safer. You can do this, it's faster than rolling around. But even if top runners say that don't roll underwater, this is one of the places you will see us roll 99.9% .9 of the time. Why? Because it's safer. Because you can't cancel the camera instantly. And if you swim on a bad angle, you will get hit by eel, and usually you die from it, or you're like one health, so just a little bit of a safety. That's why the rolling is there on that specific spot. 
It's usually only underwater where we roll. 40 fathom lever and living quarter one. Everything else is pretty much you never roll. And then he's just gonna go to the end, blaze it through, not get hit by a shotgun once, probably. This is dumb. The way he runs up here, it's like last pixel, 100%, where you can actually jump on this by running. If we tried that, we would hit that thing, do a normal climb up, drop down in the water, curse the game to hell, and never play it again, basically. <clears throat> it's a normal crunning job thingy. Nice. Standard. This is actually stupid as well. So in tier 1 and 2, the later you grab, the further Lara can reach. So he jumps so late here, like he's actually mid-air when he jumps, that he can grab instantly basically. If you try that, you you will like 99% of the time not even grab this one. You have to all you have to do the jump really late and almost hit the wall and then press grab to grab it 100 percent consistency. Yeah. <laughs> It's so stupid, but it's kind of funny because you can, he jumps so late, like the last possible. Okay, so he's gonna do a ledge grab here. Yep. This is a nice, uh, nice level in secrets. It's really hard on PC. But it is um, very cool. Just because we do it like so backwards, like you cannot do a level more backwards than this. So we take the last the secret basically you would I think normally last. Then the gold. And then the silver last. And we actually exit the level as well near the silver secret anyway, so. Nice. Casual GG, quop, quop hold, no quop. Okay. Meow. Uh -huh. We don't do that in full game runs. We do a corner bug into flare wall bug up to that key because it's faster RTA. RTA means real time attack, which is where the timer runs all the time. So if you do a setup or you have to save, it loses time. Okay, perfect. I wanna see if there's a faster strat to get through the fan at the end. I mean, you can do it without stumble, but <clears throat> I want to see how he does it. If there's a cool trick you can get, there's like these propellers or whatever the fans. Some some scrap. And if you side a side flip or jump on a certain angle towards them, you you get in the corner and you just can run out. And I don't, but I don't think it works the other way. It only works from here. Yeah, side flip, and this run. But you cannot go through the other way. Frank. Wait, he doesn't even kill him. He just like screws their AI because he's unreachable now, and then they don't know what to do. Nice. Very sick. <laughs> Easy level.
Yeah, that's another strat. I think I do that as well. I can't remember, but yeah, both works. As long as the angle is good. That is hard jump. You, there's a ceiling you, you might hit and then slide down, but he doesn't. Okay, this, this, this is... If you are a fan of this level, take notes how to ride the skidoo. Because that is... Okay, he is doing the man strat, manly strats here. Normally we would go around and not trigger these two guys because like When you jump up here, there's a trigger for two merc guys like mercenaries So when we land We would go here and then around But because he He can just redo this part like thousand times if needed to not take too much health uh, damage they're missing a lot of shots as well. Nice. Clean. And now, now the craziest part of this level. Just grinding every single edge you can basically imagine. Now he's a yeah, he's doing the shimmy embed there. You're running? Totally artable, yeah. And here <laughs> you can jump over this gap in a full like I we do it as well. But the way we do it is jump right here, hit this low slope a little bit, and turn quickly and boost again to keep the momentum, and then it sends us over he just takes the boost from the corner jumps in the middle like he gets boost here to jump forward enough hit this hit this like what okay yeah he didn't do it what a scrap hey naron <laughs> Yeah, this is just a normal day. He parks the skidoo next to key. And this is an easy skip you can do, even... You can skip the key to get the bridge on behind us up. So you can jump from here onto this corner with the right distance. Not too hard with a little practice. You don't need to do side flips, you can just do a standing jump forward. And you skip the, the one of the keys on this level. Do not try this one, but it is not possible. Let's log it again, it's pretty sick. But he lands on the edge, falls down, holds roll enough frames to clip her up again. Drops down again, roll again, drops down, roll. It's too precise. You can do it once, but fucking two or three times? No, no chance. Just no chance. <sighs> he got the fast Kidu spawn as well. Sometimes the Kidu can, like, Delay it spawn a little bit, so you have to wait, but he got the fast one. He takes the secret. Music ends. Feels bad. Oh, this is... Actually, I didn't realize... I was wondering why he parks it so weirdly. But he wants to use this slope here. Send him. Send him up. Because if he doesn't get this boost, there's a wall here. Before this slope. 
he would blonk bonk, but now he has enough height to get onto it. Nope. If you try that, like if we tried that, we would lose like three med packs just from trying these strats. Because every time you hit the wall, you lose health. And it's already hard enough to get not using a single med on this level. He's just blazing it. This is not possible, by the way. <laughs> he has to hit perfectly the edge to reset games like the height meter. Oh, this is the new thing as well. So you would explode if you jump normally. But because he hits this enough, the game thinks that Skidoo landed and then falls again, which it's not too high to explode. And then, yeah, getting Skidoo back, it looks easy, but it's really, really hard. This one, you have to get the right kind of bounce. That's why we don't do it. It's just not viable. And it becomes even less viable when you see the ending of this level with this. <clears throat> I hope he does it with three skidoos at the end. So you can go through that one. If the skidoo is parked next to it. I think he's going for three skidoos at the end. Yeah. A crit. How's it going? Pop life's good. Yo, midnight. This is sick. He lands so close. Still get the roll. Delay is action. Like, look how far he is away from the wall. If we did that, 100% dead. He just grabs it perfect moment. Oh, nice. Uh -huh. That's sick. Maybe we can use this strat. Oh, this, this looks like an actual just suicide mission. <laughs> yeah, that is. By the way, if you do this strat, this roll coming back too fast, and you miss that, you die to the boulders instantly. <laughs> so good. But yeah. Taking the red skidoo here, you will see now why it's so dumb. Wait, what? Look at look how far he parks it. But the, because he's like still basically one with the skidoo, when the skidoos hit him, they push him in there. What? He's doing this to get the skidoos away. It looks stupid, but they do so much damage that you must do some kind of AI manip there. I try it, but yeah, he just lost all health like that. Oh, he got boosted and forward again. This one as well. He lands perfectly onto the edge. That when he falls down, the game pushes her forward. Yo, hey, Kuno. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> that is probably the craziest level. Hey, quite a bad person. Nice free distance, yeah. He's gonna do some... Yeah. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Just running embed into a roll eject. Jesus. Yeah, Xi'an is one of the craziest ones in secrets. And he's doing a co-op now, for sure, right? No? Interesting. I wonder why he's not doing co-op. Is it slower than... YOLO, it probably is just a little bit lower than this. Because you have to wait 8 seconds. But... This sequence coming up is very satisfying. On when we do it on PC, like... But... 
if it goes south even a bit, like it's basically dead. But it is clean. Unless there's some wild shit, like new stuff here. You jump over this, yeah. Jump through, yeah. Yeah, this is on PAL version. Hey, I'll prefer. This player is better than me. It is TAS, which is too less to speed running. Uh, where it is not something you can create as a human. It's done basically like replaying part, like f few frames at a time. To create as perfect as possible gameplay. The crack bug. You can do the running bug, but I wouldn't say it. It's good. But the thing is, if you do this sequence like this, I would do this jump. Then I would jump two steps after that landing. I would jump through this, wait one cycle, and get through the next one. Pick up the item, go into the corner. I wouldn't do this fast. I would skip this cycle, wait, but when now it opened, I will pick this up. And then you go this, you tap up onto this corner. If you do this perfectly, there's like half a second window that you can do a standing jump and still get past this uh, blade. So you don't have to wait the cycle. But it, you have to know when you are slow, basically, rather than just going for it every time and praying. But it's doable, because I was doing it and when I was doing secrets. But no, this is not something human is doing. Uh, this is... Cheated, basically. To make a showcase of a perfect gameplay. And now he's gonna go through the fans. He's gonna empty the pool. And get the... Um... Yeah, it definitely is doable. But the thing is, I'm gonna go back to it again a little bit show it the the way this door works is no matter if they're open like here the hit book like it's like here the collision starts let's say it starts like, this is arbitrary distance right the di car the thing ha ha because they're so fast it's always lacking a little bit so even if you clip a little bit you might die from it so, usually when I do the running jump, it's two steps after landing, or depending when I land, and aim middle. It's already, for me, it's hard enough because it's kind of blind jump. You just have to, like, ray. This, this jump, I'm not <laughs> convinced. Maybe I will, but uh -huh. it's a bit rough. But yeah, doable. It's all about just get honestly playing it. Uh, oh, crack bug. This one. When you trump through the... Basically a corner. Maybe for the new era rough runners. Yeah, the ones who like... Don't care. About resetting. And they're like, yeah, this is a new... 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 Uh, standard. It's kind of cool. What I would do here is run here and jump over. He gets here higher to get here earlier to do another running jump. That's kind of clever. Nice. 2025 strength. I hope it's like 20, 30 strats or something. But yeah, I will upload this full on YouTube. I 
uh, how does this work? So, we pick one, only one thing, uh, prayer wheel. It works any version of the TR2. So you pick one only. You, on the first one, you can hold action where it, you know this window where it already has the item showcased. You use it normally, like you would any. The next four, you must press inventory. So here, he doesn't hold action because if he held action, it would hold, it would open this window right away. But he doesn't, he hold, he press inventory, like this, up, and then the Seraph is frozen. And you can press action here, it gets another prayer wheel out. But if you accidentally press action here bef and not inventory, it doesn't break it. It only breaks if you press action and then try to use the Seraph. So, if you press actually action, Back out, press inventory and go up. The Seraph is spinning and not frozen, but it will still work. You fuck this up, you have to press action twice. So it's basically fail proof. I I mean I have fucked it up so <laughs> it's not fail proof, but you know. And this is only found what three, four years ago? Such a big one. You're probably the reason, right? Yeah, I think everyone has done it. <laughs> like, you shouldn't be able to fail it because you have to press action, but usually at this part... Hold on, let me see this one again. Usually you are like... Just not, you're zoned out, really. So back with this. We do hop back normally. Oh no. Is this really faster? I, wanna, I would like to know the differences, exactly. Yeah, I don't know. I am not sure. I would like to know the exact values. I should ask Troy, honestly, if he remembers the timing. Yeah, we did always a backflip, but then we changed to hop back. Roll corner bug? No. Shelf bug. Nice. Uh -huh. You can't see what's happening, but trust uh -huh. me. Stores, trust me. Lands on the edge. Back to yep. Kinda saw that coming. By the way. This jump, you have to be perfectly on the edge in order to get this jump twist without stumbling. It is really precise, even just to get up with jump twist there. Great, this is an our new strat, isn't it? Save a flare. Just yellow this jump. Perfect landing on the edge. <laughs> I've tried that one. Fell down, never tried again. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, the issue is that Leopard is there, so... Leopard might send you to, like, the next galaxy sometimes. By the way, this one here, never do this jump this close. Never do it. This corner is a sticky one in certain angles. So, I've died here, like, twice. You bonk on this one the mo on the most unreasonable angles. So stay away from it. Also here, for casuals, there's this tile here, the line. If you jump on the left of it, you skip four leopards on this area. So that's why you never see them in speedruns, really. That's cool. Very, very, very good movement here. 
is insane. We would go on the left side of it because it's safer. What? Look how when he does a surface fast, the ceiling pushes her left. Kind of like a little boost. Kind of sick. Hmm. I think this might be the flicker we do, or the embed we do, yeah, we do as well, nice. Basically PC run has a task moment as well, cool. Take every bit of ready you can, to you convince yourself that you're actually almost as good as the task. Running chip, yeah, of course. We would do a, a roll into a grab, and then drop down to save health, but you know, that's not hard, hundred percent. But if you fuck this up, you're getting eaten by the leopards. That's a glitless threat as well. Running. It's a new one. I have. I don't think I've ever seen this one. Maybe even any percent pass. What? Look how late he jumps as well. Like off in the midair, so he doesn't need to grab this thing. And then he also cancels a grab at the stumble by perfect action. Wild. So what happens here is he doesn't go down, even the trigger is here, you see. He jumps a little curve where the shadow hits this tile, but he stays up, and that shadow already triggers the tile. And all he has to do is hit the timing to get to the end before it closes. That trap cancel, man. So many insane things. He's a 1 HP, nice. That level was crazy. I implemented that strat where you don't go down on full game runs, but it required one flare and then I dropped it. But it wasn't actually too hard. The only down downside was it didn't save time too much compared to tasks. It was one of those like desperate moves if you really wanted to just kill the run and hope. That is not That is not something you would ever do. Never. <laughs> Doing the backflip twist instantly after landing. No chance. At least you can do it, but you cannot hold up after landing because you will run off the edge. I would say 9 out of 10 at least. Maybe sometimes you can like squeeze one. This grenade launcher. Ox. Ox. Oh, he doesn't care, by the way. So if you play on casually. This, those two tiles, this one and this one, if you step on this tile, it triggers the fourth tiger. If you go on this right side, you only have three tigers there, but he has all four, so just point it out. So you can avoid one of them spawning completely. So that's the one you would... Uh... And you don't need the mask. Because that platform opens the door, not the mask. And we don't need the mask to get uh, on the bridge. Yo, Lazar, how's it going? That is sick. This jump is so hard. It's like the, the diving area and water part. You have to get a like, perfect corner boost. 
and clip through the edge. Impressive. I know it's like million tries. Yeah, so, yeah, exactly. I forgot that point, but now when you mention it, it is. But like, even if it takes so many tries to create this, and you have like unlimited amount of times to try one stupid strat, but it's still crazy. Like that. There's so many variations you can do to get down because all you have to do is get down before the water other ice breaks. Yeah, I don't get it either. I feel like the way we do it you would get better because if you time it properly, you can get the forward momentum while picking up and it would save even if it saved 0.1 second. Yeah, exactly. I thought so as well. So you would be like here, if you if you came from here, you would pick this up, slide while picking up on the edge of this. I feel like that would be better, but I don't know. Yo, Dorm Spencer, thanks for the raid. Thank you. Hope you're good. Hope your stream was good. But he has to wait some time since it's possible to go too fast. Yeah, you. it is possible, but... It's... Does it hurt if you're too fast down? Because, like... It's all about getting the pick up fast. Yeah. Rather than... Yeah, I, I think I know... I think I know what you mean. Or, like, what you were after, though. So this is, you can do three jumps. I My sequence was two jumps, but three jumps, it put you so close to the wall that it's dumb. Also, if you don't draw the gun on this part, when you do speedruns, you will get to enjoy this wonderful camera angle, especially this one at the tunnel. It's so funky. Like, it doesn't make sense. Like, look at how it's on the sideways. Like, it's like a sideline reporter. And then he draws the flare. Easy. Yeah, that happens when uh, you pick the item on the wrong tile. That's how I, I replicate it. So, if you perfectly place yourself where the shadow is on the other tile because it's on the between two tiles it's one of the yeah 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 but you can also pick it up uh, while being still on the wrong tile <clears throat> it's very unlikely to happen but can happen Okay, he... Is he doing the weapon combine? I hope so. We don't actually lose much health. Why the fuck do we use ladder? In full runs. Yeah, that doesn't lose... At mo- Like, yeah, nice. Yeah, I think you can do that with every... Maybe not every item, but yeah. I think it's something done with Skion or something. Is he really not doing... No, he's not doing... Oh, he's doing here. One. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Just cheeky little sideways shot. Also, I've tried this sequence every time I do a speedrun of this category. Where you land on this lower platform perfectly and do a continuous running jump. I don't think I've had it once in a full game run. No. Whee! And that's a die. Ice. No, what? 
yeah, Ice Palace. Temple of Xion and Float. This is the most insane level, probably. I would say. It is at least the hardest one in PC. And it, this uses a bit harder strat than PC, so... It's even more insane. It is missing one strat, though. I will point it out late when it happens, but... It is missing one strat, and Troya said he doesn't want to redo it, so <laughs> he just left a note to it, basically, mentioning that he missed one, one thing. Does it have in the description? No, it probably says on the uh, task submission. Uh -huh. <clears throat> okay, this jump, uh -huh. just alone this jump, is stupid as hell. You can land on the bridge, but get this jump here, and then have enough uh, right turn to land on the bridge is so hard. I did a variation of this strat on Glitchless, and it killed probably 50% of my runs, because it's all manual timing. I did that in my Glitchless run. Um, also here... Any uh, on this one, you just one dive down, and you don't die most of the time. I don't remember how you even die there, but you can, but it's very unlikely. This is so far the same as PS One or like normal, normal, normal runner doing it. We, we would kill the tigers, but obviously he's too chat for it, not take damage, just repeating the frames perfectly. Nice. So in this next area, this level, yeah. So in this level, or this room, he's gonna... He gonna, he's gonna do this, both uh, buttons, but you can skip one of them. You don't need the uh, the first one he did. You can pull this one, or press this one, and tunnel jump over this two tile gap. <clears throat> but yeah, that's uh, that's the strat he didn't do. But yeah, that's uh... nice. Easy. <laughs> what? <clears throat> if I if I was the runner, just doing a run playthrough, I would hop forward. I don't know. Actually, you can't grab this one without normal ch with normal jump. That is unbelievable. Wait, but we would get here and then do. Um. Uh, we would do a ledge grab on this one as well. Like this. It's one of the scariest part of the level for me. I don't know why, but I never trust the visual. <clears throat> we use like the M16 handle or whatever. Wait, what? I've always done a backflip twist here into roll over the uh, edge. That's apparently faster. Nice. Yeah, exactly. A gamer. By the way, this jump is hard. I don't think I've ever managed to do it. I always bonk. But he hits like a right good angle, so he gets like pushed forward rather than bonking. Nice. Amazing. He's doing these curves to uh, manipulate the uh, tigers for sure. There's no re other reason to not go straight, I think. Or his jump sequence didn't match perfectly. But I, I don't think. Yeah, this part is very scary on PC. Uh -huh. So we would do... 
yeah, this kind of thing, we would backflip. Then we would drop, yeah, drop down here. But not this way. We would drop down normally, so we would be facing back against this wall. And then we would do this curve jump. And then we would go against this wall, set up the right angle, and do this next jump. Grab this. This is probably the... Mm. I don't know if it's scariest, but it's hardest one, I would say. Another shimmy fucking M Batman. Stupid. Someone showed recently you don't need to drop down after the GG. Yeah, it's the same person who did this task, but it loses so much health. And I think he said that you can do the IL or something, but yeah. On PC, we would do a corner bug here. You have to do two jumps on a right angle or you just fall down. Well, here's one. Layers are too OP. Okay, I want to know this sequence because I've always done it two sequence. I've done this one and then when I jump on the edge where I land on this corner here and then I roll over the edge and then I have to run. This is... I need to switch to this one as well. Why is he curving here? Oh, he doesn't need to grab there. That's mega. Nice. Normally, you need to tap action. Oh. Also, this is the old school PS1 80% strat before the, the beginning void strat. Classic. Yeah, roll eject. There's a insane strat when it was used in full game runs. The runner used the re like they used the real PS2 where you can get one frame buffer if you unplug your controller, something like that. So if you get the right frame or the wrong frame, you have to unplug your controller, plug it in, and then hold the roll to get the right frame to roll eject. There was some wacky ass setup for it. So if you did it on emulator, you could not do the st that strat. You only just had to pray for the right frame. Okay, fuck you. <laughs> so fuck you. Okay, so normally... <laughs> you would go against this corner, line up with the thing on the here, on the corner as well. Do one jump, turn more, and then line up... I think it's this one, this line actually here. You hold roll, and then you clip all the way on the top uh, ceiling. You lose 30% of health or something like that, 40%. He just rolls, like run, and, run embeds, rolls, zero health loss. God, I hate this. <laughs> Too crazy. And also this one, my, my PC run doesn't have this. I never went for this strat. I hate it. I think it says 15 seconds, but I can't do it. So you have to roll into this thing perfectly. And then, is it action roll or roll action on the right frame to get this that you launch forward onto this slope? Because if you don't, you just drop all down. And you, the worst part on PC is... Most cases, this blade here kills you, so you cannot even press F6 to load fast. You just have to wait that Lara dies and gets the game over screen. But I don't do this. It's been a thing for three, four years as well. But I'm so happy we don't need it any in any percent. It is stupid. And Crit was... I think Crit was about to do this strat without a save completely. 
but then the void strat at the beginning of the level came a thing or became a thing so i do this one though i do this embed in my pc run so i just skip the first part because that's an easier one mm. It's still kind of precise. Yeah, it is. I I Grit is the only runner, I think, who does it. Um, I just don't like that roller jack. So basically, my run is free. That's what I'm trying to say. Good, good at Xian and Void Strat was funny. Feels bad. I mean, it is, because it has, like, 40 seconds of time save in, on top of it. So, almost a minute. But, yeah, good luck getting through Mar uh, Opera House, Offshore Rig, and Mario Doria without losing a minute per level. <laughs> because the enemies are stupid. <laughs> there is one category I would love to do again, but it's just so mentally taxing. It's so stupid. Yeah, Secret is one of them. The worst part is I had a run in the homes with home on that category, and then I got insta killed on the first on the front yard. It's actually a miracle when you see Tibet in that level. This is sick, by the way. We do a form like kind of this one. We we climb up here, let's say, and then we jump around here. And grab, and then it end and en uh, embeds us into the corner. So you we can just do a step forward or a standing jump to clip up. But yeah, this is the the hardcore version of. So chances are always on emulator, always, but it's the PS One version of the game, <clears throat> or a console version rather, depending on the game, of course. It's always on emulator because they task needs the uh, the ability to save state and go back. Like they save state now, they do a few frames. It's not good. They go back, redo, 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 and then when they get through it, they save it going forward. Yeah, you cannot do that on the console because then it would be just a human. Thing and you cannot recreate it or recreate this type of bullshit. Yeah, like this one. With this, we would stand side flip, go forward against the corner, turn, align up. He just does this. All you have to do is pixel perfect. Is he not doing the task strat? Or like the, the the fast one. I feel like he's not doing it. If it's even possible, but it should be, right? Jump, flare cancel, four stumbles, turn left or right, I can't remember. Roll out. It looks like he's doing seven stumbles. Which is the, the slower strat. Yeah, 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 very good. Yeah, yes, nice. I didn't know that actually. But there's that kind of thing. It's still all secrets in 134. Pretty sick. Okay, any bets? How many how many meds is how many meds did he use in the full run on the end screen? I know he has used one small large at least. <laughs> what? That is sick. 
That is sick. He looks sideways, I think, to reduce lag. Then he shoots. He shoots one. So the guy is not even loaded yet. But he is spawned because he's this far. And then he shoots the second one when he actually spawns in. We tried to do that on PC, but it was nothing but reliable. So I only know one full med. I haven't paid attention really. And it was in Tibet. So he's now 1.15. So 1.5 now. Also, this... You mean anything but reliable? Yeah. I don't remember what I said, but yeah. I probably misspoke. I don't remember what I said, so... Nice. Nice. Not even letting it uh, fire. Sick, man. Getting the roll into that thing is so hard. Usually you get pushed the other way. On the side where you try to roll. That is sick. Nice. Did you see that? Loading island one. The time is. <laughs> this is actually crazy. Shouldn't the stats be accurate on PC? Even if the level says. The level says floating island. But this says no meds, even though he used half a med. Yo, Hypno. Thanks, the Ray. Thank you, thank you. Ain't never around. What? Is it different on PC then? The PS1. I thought it's accurate otherwise, but then. But that's not that was floating islands that screen fuck's sake Yeah, welcome everyone are watching the newest tasks All of tr2 secrets by Troye. Troye. And a final level <laughs> And he's using probably the dumbest threats where he just goes inside it's not viable at all. I think he uses... He takes two... Yeah. Gun and one pickup. You can miss one shot on this route. Of course, he doesn't miss that laser shot. Look at these spawns, man. They're like you're all right there. Unbelievable. No, because this is like this is the fastest way, but you cannot do it like I mean you can do it, but like it's so unreliable, like every single enemy has a chance that he's uh run away of his screen. So you can't even Yeah, like this dog. This dog and this guy are supposed like they can run anywhere like maze whatever That's so dumb man Now he's doing quick shooting Crazy Quick shooting is done by you shoot Turn away that Lara lost, loses the lock. Don't you think and if you time, enough? if you turn left, if you turn left, lose the lock. You have to start holding right earlier. That when she loses the lock, you have turned away and instantly hold right, so she relocks instantly as well. And it will it cancels the reload basically. 
So you get two shots, like 1.5 shots when you would normally get one, let's say. I don't remember exactly that timings, but it is quite a bit faster if you can do it. GG! <laughs> So 1.5 meds for me. Ice tea was said the same. I can't remember early game if he used any. He must have used one in off Oprah House, for example. Panel jump. Oh yeah, yeah, I need to show that one. We must enjoy the music. Voices recorded using AKG microphones and Paracuda Studios. Or oh, at two meds. Nice. All secrets. 49 kills only. One hour seven minutes. Pretty, pretty cool. GG.